Shandy, how's Josh? Try again, man. Pierce, said I called Shandy. Oh, you did? She's just too busy holding herself back from killing Bert to answer. Hey! Boss, you gotta get me out of here. He's proposed to me six times. Shandy, this'll all be over soon. Trust me. Then can I kill him? Please, God, tell me I can kill him. We'll see, but put Pierce back on before you go. Yeah, boss? Heard anything on Stag? Oh, shit, I almost forgot. They still think we're here at the old crib. Oling and I are thinking we set the trap this time and use it to fuck Stag up. Let's make it a big one, got it? Oh, I hear you. Put the gun down. I won't run. Yeah, I'm good. I felt that the moment we met. That... connection. What? Forbidden love. Oh my god, can I just shoot this guy? Sean D. Play nice now. You got the stuff, Pierce? Allow me, friend. You did that on purpose. All right. Let's go stag hunting. Think you can pick a fight with Stag by yourself? You have a booty call to get to? Gonna pick up a surprise for Stag. You know how to use a Molotov? Pierce, it's a fucking bottle. Jesus, I was just asking. You looking at something? Yeah, whatever, I can go. Molotovs and tapestries, a perfect match. Our guests are coming. The party favor's all set? Yes. Be careful not to set off the bombs when you get close. I'll be monitoring Stag's approach from our security room.
Use a rocket launcher I left to set off the bombs when Stag gets close. Nice. Though I can't say that I'm surprised. Sniper, south side. Pushing up. Ah! I'm looking for more. They sent a tank to the north side. Surprise was worth it. Every year. Let's head up and I'll show you.
It's a laser targeting system. Who wants to call down an airstrike? Ooh, ooh, I do! <laughs> Fuck right. Don't make me do this alone! That's kind of duck and cover. A stag. them all pay. City. Not gonna happen. Zag's mission is to eradicate the gangs of Steelport. But where to focus the firepower is my call. At least Birkin will hammer the Syndicate for a while. Give you boys a little breathing room. How you wanna play it? No longer shall I hide from my one true love and her cause. 
Allow Shandi and I to be together, and I swear her enemies will be my enemies. Oh, no, 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 fuck no. Don't even think about keeping this prick around. I will lose my damn mind. You have 60 seconds to decide. Prepare to open fire on the building. I got burnt! Just jump! Move it, people! Congratulations are in order, Commander. Not quite. The Saints are still at large. I'm sending some intel over. I need leverage on the Saints. Bring in the target for questioning. They're going to run to ground. Digging them out won't be easy. If it were easy, I wouldn't waste your time. Understood, sir. I'll find her. job with that Matt Miller thing. Yeah, she did. Why do I feel you didn't call just to say that? What, I can't say go team? No, that's cool. I was beginning to think you turned all cold bitch on us, honey. What can I say? Things haven't been all sunshine and roses. Oh, no, 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 fuck! Shondi? <laughs> that's not good. Pierce, I think we have a problem. How so? Shawnee's been taken. Taken? Taken how? I don't know. I, I was on the phone with her when I heard a struggle and someone else picked up her phone. You think Kilbane got her? Sounded military. Sounded like stag. So what's the plan? Head to image as designed. I have an idea. Is it any good? Does bold count? With you? No. This is the worst idea you've ever had. We can't go marching onto Stag's aircraft carrier. Why not? I look just like Cyrus. All I gotta add is a fucked attitude. What happens when you're on board? I walk in with my prisoners. They take me to the cell block. I grab Shandi and we leave. I'm sorry. Prisoners? Yeah. You and Pierce. <laughs> I'm bringing you in. Oh, hell no! Showtime. Let's grab a Stag transport, soldiers. This is weirding me out. Okay, so we get to the carrier. What then? Prisoners are in the brig, right? So I take you both there, we find Shondi, then I order a prisoner transfer back here. What if they just shoot us? Well, that would ruin the plan, wouldn't it? <laughs> this face looked like I can pass for a self-righteous prick. Considering I want to stab your ass right now? Yeah, I'd say it works. That's I'd say it works, sir. I should slap that face right off you. That's a month in the hole for you. <sighs> this isn't giving me any confidence. You sure you got his face right? Unless the camera added 20 pounds, yeah, I'm sure. I'm just saying. Pierce, this will work. Trust me. That's all I wanted. You know, this is a good look for you. You should keep the face when you're done with it. Are you serious? 
Cyrus is very powerful and statuesque. You complained about a costume, and now you want the boss to run around with Cyrus's face? It was just a suggestion. Don't get all bent out of shape. Chris out, handcuffs on. Quick, before we land. This is a horrible idea. Just do it already. Look, you may be cool with wearing handcuffs, but this motherfucker ain't down with that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know. You ran a prostitution ring. So, clearly, I'm into kink. You carry a gun. Does that mean you like to be shot? No. So how about we stop being a judgmental man-child? Okay. Welcome back, sir. What's up? Uh, I need you to sign off on some prototypes I've been working on. Thanks for the offer, uh, you. But I want to process these two ASAP. I can take these two down to detention for you, sir. Thanks. What the fuck, man? Don't <clears throat> you look at the commander? This way, sir. Uh, of course it's this way. How, how are things? Uh, good. Good. Uh, how was your flight in? Did the prisoners give you any trouble? No, 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 it's, uh, uh, it was easy. Look, sir, things don't have to be awkward between us. I totally agree. We're both adults, what happened happened, and, uh, speaking for myself, I don't regret a thing. I like men. Oh. Sir, R&D has sent a prototype for a new vehicle. A jet-propelled cycle. They can do that? Sir? Well, I'm sure R&D's had some failures before. This one of them? No, sir. It is top quality. Good, good, good. Uh, there anything else I should know about? They have some improvements to our tank's weaponry. Should pack more firepower. Be bad if that was used against us. And there's also portable satchel charges for the troops. Once we get to R&D, I'll need you to sign off on two projects. Just hand me a pen. So that's your name. All soldiers in the R&D are to shoot Commander Temple on sight. He is a saint in disguise. I repeat, shoot Commander Temple in all so much for running around trainees now.
What do you want now? I'm not saying a damn thing. Sweetie, it's me. I'm trying to get us out of here. Oh, thank God it's you. We gotta get you home. You look like shit. Can we leave yet? We have to find a way off this About thing. Time. We could blow it up first. You have the best plans. Know where to go then? Reactor control room. Heard the guards talking about how dangerous it was. I hate those things. Suddenly you know aircraft carrier mechanics? Fuck no! I'm just working on movies here! Come on now. You gotta get in there. Our attention is granted to ship Commander Tipple on site. And I want him dead! Time to get moved! They had trip transports in the hangar. We can snatch one of them. Let's go, troops! Move it! This one's going in the book. We might have overdone it. Now we can focus on Kilbane. What about Stag? We just blew up an aircraft carrier. What else could they throw at us? Martial law, didn't you? I knew the Saints. How did Mayor Reynolds react? He'll fall in line. They all will. Keep me updated, Commander. Of course, ma'am. Sir, the commandos are en route. We'll have the whole city locked down in 72 hours. Outstanding. Thank you, Kia. Permission to speak freely? 
It's about damn time we took off the kid gloves. Two little words, Kia. Shock and awe. Sean to get a hold of you? Look, don't take it the wrong way, but I don't do sports bars. We need to work out how we're gonna deal with Kilbane, and I want you there. Okay, I'll see you at the Broken Shillelagh. Right, I am done fucking around. I want Kilbane. You wanna hurt Kilbane? You gotta hurt his reputation. So, what, we humiliate him? <sighs> Can't we just kill the bastard? Take Kilbane's mask and all that's left is Eddie Pryor. It's worse than killing him. Oh, no, this is more Angel's thing. Kilbane would never agree to fight Angel. <laughs> He's more scared of Angel than me. Yeah, no offense, but you're kinda ridiculous. Relax. You're gonna look hot in a Speedo. Tracy left you that weapon. Wait, this? The RC gun. You'll need it to take control of the Luchador vehicle. A rocket launcher would be more practical. These are supposed to look like accidents, remember? Details. The range on this gonna work all right? Mm -hmm. Reassuring, Kinsey. Why wouldn't Kilbane fight you? No, he's not better than him. So he'll fight me instead? If there's no more contenders, he'll have to. Or, and, and stay with me on this, we kill him. Easier, yes. But nothing we're doing is easy. When you raise Kilbane's mask to the screaming crowd, you'll know you made the right choice. I'm usually okay with just death. That's right, folks. Get those hepatitis vaccines updated because the blood will be flying soon at Murderball 31. Right you are, Zach. And who better to announce the official lineup than the champion himself, Kilbane? Oh, you know, opponents have been arriving from all over to face their fears and meet the architect of their demise. So stay tuned as the press conference will be coming to you live from the Three Count Casino within the hour. I can't wait. Murderball, Murderball, Murderball! That witch door heading towards the car is the Mad Mangler, Little Roberts. Mad Mangler? That must be one pissed off luchador. Uh, actually, he's pretty laid back. Then people can blame this on Roid Rage. Let's get to the press conference. Hey, what's wrong with this car? <laughs>
bad for your health, Merle. Next on the list is... Chris through the Club of Johnson. He should be on his boat now. We talking dance bars or seals here? Breaking news. Minutes ago, mad mangler Merle Roberts, a luchador slated to compete in the upcoming Murder Brawl 31, ran over several pedestrians in what witnesses say was a rage-induced vehicular massacre. His body is being pulled out of the fiery wreckage as his career ended at a dead end. This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. You boost signals on RC guns often? Top board one night and three together. Get a boyfriend. Or a girlfriend. Electronics are good for that too. Not the same, Kenzie. Not the same. near the water like that. Not as dangerous as helicopters. Trash Can Teddy is on a sky tour of the city. You're kidding, right? Know your enemy. Know yourself. More breaking news. Blood has chummed the water of Steelport as two boats lost control within minutes of each other, resulting in the deaths of the drivers, other boaters, and partygoers on a nearby pier. Is this a boating stunt gone horribly wrong, or is death smoothing out a wrinkle in his design? This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. Teddy's headed for the trash now. Next? I've saved the worst for last. El Presidente. Why is he the worst? <sighs> He's reached out to Stag for protection. He's afraid that Kilbane will try to kill him before the match. He's with Stag. Stag has tanks. I don't see a problem here. This just in. It was shades of the great bootlegger recall of Aught 7, as yet another mechanical failure resulted in a fatal mid-air helicopter crash. Citizens of Steelport, a word of advice. Pull over now. This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. and gentlemen, the Stillwater Butcher has graced us with their presence. You want to fight the best? You fight me. The best? <laughs> the best is beating Sway the Spider God in a Tijuana scaffold match. The best is defending the world title 13 times in one night. The best is winning a last man standing match with two broken legs! Trust me, little Icarus. You're flying too close to the sun. Oh, my God. Quit being a bitch and put your mask up. 
If you want to be broken by the walking apocalypse, I will gladly oblige you.